Welcome to D Light Channel. T Mark is still my name. Good to have you here with with us this week as we start a new conversation. And um, what are we talking about starting from today? We want to talk about succession planning. So, wait a minute. If all that we've said before now doesn't make any sense to you, if all you are still doing is carrying your checkbook around, is all your purpose and agenda about your business, is all about how to buy that new car and to go for that holiday, you don't have to bother to listen or watch after this point. You can actually stop watching, close up, and do something else. Because what we are starting today is for that man, that woman, that young lady who is trying to become an entrepreneur. Somebody who has a dream that is bigger than him or herself. Somebody who has a vision to empower people to solve a problem, to have a venture that will outlive them, that even while they are here alive and well, the business can run without them. Their business can work for them. Their business can generate funds for them. Their business can give them a platform to even solve bigger problem. They are the people that we are targeting with this next, with this with the series that we are starting next. So, if all you are interested in is how to be the big kennel, the big dog in the kennel, and how to just spend and spend and be big, and that's all you worry about. Never mind, let's spare you the time. You can just hit the stop button and go do something else. Yes, so I assume that if you are still here, you are one person who is interested in building an enterprise. Somebody who wants to do something that will solve a problem that will outlive them that is bigger than them. And therefore, what we are talking about starting from today is succession planning. Succession planning planning nigeria just went through an election if you are from a democratic country this is something that happens periodically every four years every two years every eight years and you will find out that whether you are a state your local government you are a nation where succession planning is not deliberate what do you have sometimes you have sit tight government Sometimes you take four steps forward and then the next person comes, you take six steps backwards. This, this government starts this project, abandons it because a new government is in power and you have the whole terrain littered. Littered with projects that were started and were never completed. Not because they're not good, not because they're not viable, because of succession problem. You've had companies... I mean, one of the top tier banks in Nigeria, I will not mention names, that was one of the biggest a few years ago because of the poor handling of succession planning. Today, we don't even know its fate, whether it's been sold, acquired, merged. That's a sad story. And we see so many businesses, many, many conglomerates. There were giants a few years ago there were behemoths a few years ago. Now, if you tell the next generation of 12, 14 year old, they have no idea who you're talking about. So, if you do not want to end up like that, then you must make a commitment to watch all the videos in this series. And like, a, like something I saw somewhere ago, I'm sure it's very common these days. It says, if you want to go fast, go alone if you want to go far go with others so what we are starting this series is the series of succession planning and what do we mean by succession planning we are saying a few things number one you understand that the business is not just all about you you have just been given a dream you have been given a vision you are beginning a purpose for a reason to meet a need to to bridge a gap to fulfill a purpose. That's number one. Number two is that you are aware, humbly so, that no matter how smart you are, how strong you are, how gifted you are, you can't do it alone. Number three, 
is that you also realize that in addition to not being able to do it alone, you will not be here forever. No matter how hard you try, you've only got so much time to do whatever you got to do, as far as you can do it, as well you can do it, and after that, you have to leave the scene. That's why we said it in the last series, just concluded, if you don't change, you will get changed. So, if these three things are settled in your mind, then the questions are, one, how do you ensure that even while you are here, you are laying a foundation for something that can go bigger, better, faster than you? There is a series on CNN currently. They, they, they throw it in one of, one, once in a while. It's called The 100 Club. We will bring a few before we end this series. It's a series that speaks about companies that have been around for more than 100 years. And you get shocked that what those, one of those companies that produces wine, I think, I'll, I'll try and establish the name, what they do in one day now, what they produce in one day, is more than what the founder of the company was producing in a whole year before now. That's the power of building something to last. So, if you are interested in this, then you have to keep it a date because it is a big issue. It is a painful issue when you look at the African continent and, uh, continent and the emerging world. You can barely, I can rarely find anything that you can say has really outlived the founder. And when you look at those that are running right now, unfortunately, they are running the same template that doesn't leave any hope that they will be here for much longer. If you don't want your story to be like that, then you need to commit to this series, commit to this channel. And if there's anything you'd like us to cover in this series, please write it in because from next week, we will come down to about 30,000 feet above sea level and start engaging this matter over a couple of weeks until we probably landed it. And that's where I'm going to have to drop the anchor this week. It's an introductory video. So I hope you make it a date next week as you then go deeper into the concept of succession planning. Until then, feel free to share this video. Send in your comments. If there's a topic you still want us to cover, let us know. We are trying to go as round, as wide, as thorough, as structured as we can so that as you need them, you can go back and view them and I'm sure you find something relevant there. Until I see you next week, thanks for being here this week and don't ever forget that T-Mark is still my name and all I'm trying to do is what? Make a little difference. So I'll see you next week. Bye.